creme of la creme is a bagger. Mini baggers. One of Harley Davidson's coolest bikes that they've come out. You're gonna get a fairing, you're gonna have bags. Well, the reason I wanted so much street car is because- uh, Sport touring, where do you see it? I think that's the wave, the future. To the video guys we are here with producer jerry this is his brand new name now is producer jerry um kind of want to talk about an interesting topic today uh a topic that we've been talking about for years right? years, years. We've, we've been talking about this for a long long time uh but my buddy fx dls brooklyn shout out to bk low did an interesting video about a week or two ago um Love the intro of the video, so shout out to BK Lo, give him a follow, I'm gonna be linking his, his YouTube channel down below. Um, good friend of mine, close friend. He did an interesting take and titled it, This is why everybody is selling their bagger. So this is, yeah, same. This is why the same title. Kind of wanted to take it into an, another level. We'll talk about some of the topics he spoke about, but we'll talk about some other stuff. Um, so, baggers, you have a streak glide. Yes. I have a Rogue Glide. Uh, King of the Baggers is on top. Um, everyone really wants a bagger. And at the same time, a lot of people are selling their baggers for smaller bikes. Mm -hmm. um, as you're introduced to the company or a new rider to the Harley Davidson family, most of the time people start on Sportsters. They make their way up to a soft tail and then the creme of la creme is a bagger. That's the bike that everyone graduates to. It's the bike that everyone dreams of having. Not everybody can have because of its price, um, how big it is, weight of the bike. Um, just just a, a lot of factors go into it. Now what we're starting to see more people taking the opposite route. Mini baggers. Mini baggers. And, and, and you, for example, for a while, you were talking about selling your street glide. Yes. Because you were talking about how it was getting too heavy, mm -hmm. or just you want something smaller. Mm -hmm. um, we'll get into that in a few minutes. Um, but th I, I have seen a lot of people doing it. Um, now, mini baggers is something that we've been speaking about. And at first, when we started talking about it, people kind of were like well what are you guys talking about because there wasn't any mini baggers <clears throat> right at the moment there wasn't unless you were kind of building your own thing out to be a mini bagger at the moment right and then people would just comment and just yeah all the silly comments that we used to get right all the stupid comments that we yeah. used to get and 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 now look right so obviously we talk about mini baggers what is considered a mini bagger the low rider st right the low rider st is probably your, one of harley davidson's coolest bikes that they've come out in the past 20 years it's it's amazing mm -hmm. it's awesome it's it's everything that you could want it's a lightweight bike compared to a, a bagger you're gonna get a fairing you're gonna have bags um you're gonna have the same amount of power if not even more on some of them um inverted front end mono shock inverted front end uh mono shock just a Cool, fun bike to rip around. It's fun to ride. It looks cool as hell. Yeah. The designing team did a great job designing that fairing. Um, obviously, taking the whole idea from the FXR, FXRP fairings from the 80s, which were really, really cool bikes. So back then, when you had one, people were actually taking those fairings off. They hated mm -hmm. it, right? Later on, My it, police bike had the guy was off. Yeah. yeah. Uh, later on, just a few years back, people. Started for those fairings. building those, those fairings. They were they, they were they were dying for those fairings. They were putting them on dinas, and they they were building these bikes out. And that's where Harley Davidson got this whole idea from of wanting to do kind of a mini bagger type of thing, right? Um, sport touring for that case. That that's what we're gonna we're gonna say we're gonna call it, right? Um, now let, let's talk about you right now. I want you to tell the audience right now why you wanted to sell your street glide. Well, the reason I wanted so much street glide is because, like, I ride. I basically bought my street glide for my 50th birthday, and it was like I set it up so me and my wife could do long distance riding. How old are you now? 55. Okay. So, because I'm diabetic and I have issues with circulation, and 
you know, me and my wife get older and you get you get a little heavier or whatever and stuff like that, the weight became an issue. What? Because I had issues with my knee and I had issues with my foot. So to me, with me loaded up with her and all our stuff or whatever, is becoming too being much. Being on a heavy bike. Yeah, being on a heavy bike. And I wasn't traveling more than like, you know, the most I would do in a day is 250, 300. Right, well, so you kind of do that on anything. Yeah, I could do that on anything, pretty much. So I was like, well, I don't need this big, heavy bike. But then the issue became, too, if I'm riding my wife, I kind of do need the bigger bike because of the way the seating is. Right. Because even with the, the soft tail on my low rider S, I bought the the Saddleman seat, but it wasn't, she was, she was, she was, we were still too much on top of each other. Okay. Whereas my, you know, my street glide, you can sit back. I got the tall boy seat, and you sit back and you sit up, and she has a big cushion or whatever. So I'm like, honestly, when we went to Milwaukee, we rented an Ultra, and she's like, this is kind of what I need to ride on. But to me, the weight is still an issue. Yeah. And she doesn't ride that much. Like she rides out of 99% of my riding, I do by myself. Yeah. You know, it's for the occasional time that my wife rides with me. So you, you. You wanted to sell it, and and what bike did you want to replace it with? Well, I was going to get something smaller, but I kind of have two smaller bikes now, so I was... No, but at, at that point? What did I want to get? I was going to buy, like, a Heritage. Okay. Yeah, I was going to buy, like, an anniversary. I think we were talking about anniversary okay. Heritage or something like that. Because I already had the lowrider. Yeah. And I was like, okay, you know, but now, like, the ST, I like the ST, but I don't like the bags. Because mm -hmm. they're a lot uneven mm -hmm. and the clamshell. But now, I think it's Advan Black came out with, you can put these bags on there. The uh, top yeah. load. Yeah. And that's awesome. Yeah. That is awesome. Well, that's an option. You have leather pros, which are awesome. With yeah, that. I was going to do leather pros on my, you know? uh, remember on my Lowrider S, I was going to do leather pros. Yeah. So there, there, there are options if, if the bags are a, a, yeah. a big thing. How, how do you see the market now? Like, do, do, you see, do you see that yourself? People going backwards people yes. going from baggers down yeah. to soft tails or yeah, even I see people more my age and older looking for lighter bikes because these bikes are you know like my bike loaded up is like you know with the tour pack on and, and, and not even me and my wife just all the stuff it's like heavy. it's like 1100 pounds yeah it's heavy I mean you notice a difference just with my tour pack on and I don't even have shit in it yeah I mean that that that's one of the cons it's just the weight of the bike yeah you know you, even, even me, I'm, I'm on the shorter end. I'm 5'7". Um, I mean, I, I, I'm able to get around the bike fine, but, I mean, it's a bike heavy. as It's a heavy as bike. Yeah, my bike you has know? the wider seat and the, uh, the ape hangers, which you... Yeah. When you ride it, you know you have an issue, so... Yeah. Yeah, it's... Um, it, it's, it's a... I think there's a, there's a lot going on right now. Um, other reasons why people are also choosing to go with smaller bikes cheaper bikes because let's be honest when 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 you're looking at a soft tail mm -hmm. let's just say a low rider s or a low rider st at that we'll, 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 we'll keep yeah. it very very safe a low rider st compared to a, a road glide or a street glide the price difference is huge if you're comparing it to a special if you're comparing it to an st mm -hmm. or anything else right um price of a low rider st is 22 grand yeah the price of uh, a standard road glide is twenty one nine 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 nine. It's actually a little cheaper. Yeah. It's like, like five hundred bucks cheaper actually. Mm -hmm. um, but I mean, mo most people end up going with a special because they either want they want the one fourteen. Yeah. They want if they want to go with the all blacked out look, they want that. They mm -hmm. want different color options. Um, just just a ton of other stuff that you're gonna get on. Especially you're gonna get the standard, uh, the painted interfering. Just a bunch of little stuff like that. Yeah, the upgraded um, navigation because at twenty one thousand, yeah. you're not getting that little. You're not getting the navigation. You right, have to right. Pay extra for that. Exactly. Yeah. And, and I think ABS too. And ABS. Um, mm. And then even with the ST, people want the one seventeen. Yes. They don't want the one fourteen. They That's want the one seventeen. Yeah. yeah. They they want the 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 bronze colored wheels. They, they just want the ST chop fender, like the better suspension in the back. It's, mm -hmm. it's a lot of stuff, right? So you have a lot of different options to choose from. And most people don't want the standard. They want the special. They want the ST or they yeah. want or they want the, the CBO, right? Mm -hmm. So they, they, they look right over the the standard, which in my opinion... It's the best value. Look, look at it now. The way, the, the things that I've done to my bike, I've basically transformed it. The standard is kind of the best value. Mm -hmm. um, if the chrome doesn't bother you, I love chrome. Yep, you know, it's fine. Like, I was going to switch to black stuff, and now I'm glad I have the chrome. Yeah, I mean, most people 
opt out to do the special because they want the all black look. Um, but for those buyers who don't mind the chrome, standard is the way to go, to be honest. Yes. You say if, if trust me, if if you're like us and you want to change, you're going to be changing you're gonna your build, bike. Like I built my whole engine out. I built, I changed my wheels. I changed my crash bar. I changed a lot of stuff on my bike. You know, yeah. So you don't. It, it doesn't matter. You yeah. Know? It, it's just the way. This is the way to go, man. Um, but let, let's compare pricing, right? So, uh, Lowrider ST, mm -hmm. twenty-two grand. Yes. Uh, we'll do my bike. A perfect example. My bike is a special. Two tone, the two tone is, a, is, a, is an extra two grand or twenty five hundred dollars. On top of the twenty nine 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 nine. Uh, twenty seven. Twenty seven. Yeah. Something, something. Oh, that's the ST twenty. Yeah. Um, after taxes and fees and blah blah blah. That's what gets you. That this bike is gonna be thirty one, thirty two, thirty three door uh, thousand out the door, easily. Mm -hmm. Right. Yep. It's a big difference. Our friends who bought STs thirty six, thirty seven. Thirty six, thirty seven. And then our friend bought an Ultra forty. Forty. Thirty nine, nine nine. Nine. 40 yeah. out the door right so it's 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 a huge huge difference and that's the reason why and, and something very important the economy right now mm. interest rates alone interest rates it's every, everything's through the roof the average person is just living kind of paycheck to paycheck they don't have that extra cash mm -hmm. anymore to say hey I'm gonna get myself a brand new toy and whatever Whatever, I don't care about the price, you know? You can't do that anymore. No. Nope. Right, right now, it's, it's not the time. And, and unfortunately, you know, it, it wasn't like that before. And, and now it's like you got to think twice before you kind of uh, invest, or not even invest, but... It's get, not really an investment. It's not an investment. No, not at all. It, uh, before you get yourself into one of these toys here and, yeah, have, have, to, have to eat that. Um, it has to do a lot. I think the economy right now has to do a lot when, when white people are, are looking at cheaper options. Yeah. You know, why, why are you going to get a bike and pay, uh, uh, have a $500 payment, $400 payment, when you can have a $200 payment or $300 mm -hmm. payment, you know? Um, some people have $600 payments, which is insane. Yeah, I'm fortunate I don't have any payments. You know, but... right, your bike's paid off. I'm not rich. I'm, I don't, my bike's not paid off like yours. My bike's also six years old. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, so yeah, I, th I think the economy right now has a lot to do with it, why people are looking at cheaper options. I think a uh, perfect example, like in your case, you know, you're getting older, you want something more comfortable, you're looking at what other options of what could be lighter, um, what's gonna be practical for you. Mm -hmm. um, and now let, let, I want let, let's talk about everything else. Uh, Lowrider ST is lighter, mm -hmm. it's faster. Yes. Um, it's cheaper. Better suspension. Better suspension. Um, and then you're gonna have the same option. So you're gonna have a fairing, fairing. You can have bags, bags. Yes. If you don't want the bags, that's yeah. another option. You had to get the radio, though. Yeah. If you want to get the radio. I mean, if you want the but radio. I listen to music through my helmet. So. Yeah, I mean, but if you do want the radio in the, in the fairing, you have it right there. Yeah. A lot of people that use an Avi, I mean, you could just put your phone on. And mm -hmm. some people, a lot of people actually use their phones for the Navi instead of the I've one on that. the dash. Yeah. Well, my, my, I have an 18, which is 19. They changed it to what you have, yeah. navigation. And mine is like, like looks like your, your five-year-old son drew the, yeah, yeah. the map or whatever. It's like horrible. Yeah, but some, but, people, some but people... Most people want to use the phone because it's more up-to-date. Yeah, but e even with this one, like, a lot of people have this. Yeah, they said it tags. I don't know. No, I mean, it's fine. Um, but they, they, they'd rather use the GPS on their phone. You know, it's mm -hmm. more accurate. Or you use Waze or you use... Yeah, it's just, it's just, but some people just like their phone instead. Um, it is what it is, yeah? I, I would usually use my phone too. Yeah. I think Sport Touring, the Lowrider ST, is going to be the future mm -hmm. for touring segment for Harley Davidson. Um, it, it's, is it going to, right now, is, is it going to take over the baggers and the touring models? No, not, not anytime yeah. soon. But the way things are going right now for the next few years, I think that's going to be the main bike that people are going to be looking at. Well, if you're moving up from like a Sportster and you can't make the leap, you want to do some touring, especially if you're, I mean, if you're touring by yourself, the bike is perfectly fine. Oh, yeah. You know, and if you're on the smaller size, like your size, like, or, and you have a you know, smaller wife or girlfriend or whatever, the bike's fine. It's mm -hmm. when you're bigger that it becomes an issue or whatever, that you need the bigger bike because of the, the weight and because of the, you know, the, the, the um, because of your weight and because of um, the handling and everything like that. But you can't make that big jump. Like, if you're in a sportster for, 
nine, ten grand, you go to a dealer and they say, oh, we'll give you six grand. Are you going to come up with another $30,000 to buy another bike? Or even if you put it on a loan or whatever, that's a lot of fucking cash. Whereas, you know, you go 22, you're like, okay, I got to come up with like 15 grand. Yeah. That's doable. Yeah. I mean, it, and you keep even talking about because Harley Davidson is trying to run a lot of incentives. On the big bikes. To try to get, even on the low rider, see, I believe. Uh, oh, yeah, no, you sure? I think it's yeah. only Grand American. Try, try, trying to get people in to buy it. I mean, you go to dealers now, all you see is baggers. Tons and tons of baggers. Every dealership's packed with them. Yeah, I, I don't know if they're moving them. I don't think they're moving As much? I don't think so. Um, but th they're, they're, they're coming out with a bunch of incentives to try to get you in there and get these bikes. Um, how do, I, are they moving? I don't think they're moving. And the problem is now, knowing what we know, with the new CVO that came out and the new tech, that's going to trickle down. That's going to trickle down. It might down. be a year or two, but still, I'm not buying, I'm not going to buy what I have now. Yeah. I want, I'm going to want the newest stuff a couple of years from now. Not, yeah. not the old 107 or the old 114. At least with the ST, you're getting a 117. Yeah. So I wouldn't. It's, I wouldn't, a, lot, it's a lot of options. You know. It's a lot of options. Do, do, do you think they're. There's too many options. Yes. Like if if you're if you're looking at a roguelite, you got the roguelite standard. Mm -hmm. You got the special, the ST, and the CVO, CVO, and the Ultra, and the Ultra. So you got five to choose from. Yeah. Do you think that's way too many or? Yeah, I think it's too many. Yeah. When they went to the like Ultra with black and chrome option, they should have done the same thing with the, the street guy. They the special they did black or chrome option. I'm not saying get rid of standard because that's where them to to get people into that bracket. But maybe like do something in between, you know, where where you're not spending as much. I don't know. In in my opinion, like, I don't think it's too many options. I think it's. You got 107 engine, 114 engine, 117 engine, 121 engine. Yeah. You got five different engines too, or four different. Yeah. I think. I, I don't. Four different I, I don't. I don't think it's too many options though. I, I think it's. It's a little bit of everything for anyone to pick from. I mean, it could, if, you have, if you have five different people, five people are gonna want five different things. True. And I think it's perfect. I think if you had more models than this, like we're talking about the same bike, that would be a big issue. I mean, you, like you guys said it in the other video or whatever. Well, you guys ride road glides, so it's like I'm the only one with a street glide. Road glide team. There's like ten or fifteen road glides. Everybody's bike's different. Yeah. They all. They all look similar but they're all different colors they're all, they're all different accessories yeah they're all different you know and you have guys and in, in that group too you have guys with standards with specials with ultras with sts i mean out of those guys you ride with yeah. half of them have you know they you cover all the five models yeah the new cvo the new cvo and yeah, the old cvo yeah sorry well, my, my, my my whole crew has the whole spectrum. But yeah. Because yeah, yeah. you have yeah. guys on standard, you have guys on STs. Except for the guys on street glides. Yeah. Yeah, only have one guy on street <laughs> Where do you see sport touring? I think they should come out going. with like another model. Yeah? Yeah, maybe not the lowrider ST, but maybe like a different model. What about like a... Um, like a like a heritage kind of yeah like heritage, heritage ST or yeah. yeah get rid of those stupid bags and put hard bags on yeah. or even well I was gonna say but, but it, it will have to be with, with a with a totally new different fairing as well that's true right so you right. so so you'll have you'll have you, you so if you're looking maybe at maybe like an old school fairing too yeah so if if you're looking at you know you have two options for baggers you street glide or roll light yeah. You know, sport touring, you have two options. Well, I think they might come out with the Rogue King ST next year because well, the Rogue King was gone this year. So that's going to be my next thing. So you, you got the, well, the, yeah, you got the Rogue King as well. Um, but it, maybe you have a Rogue King with a different fairing. Yeah. You know, or a, a Heritage with a different fairing. Yeah. I think the Heritage will be kind of like the closest thing to it. Um, being that it already has bags, it has a shield. I mean, the Heritage is a great bike. The only thing those bags are super tiny. They're tiny and they're outdated. Yes. They're super outdated. And not, they don't lock, I had a Heritage, I had 18 Heritage, and those bags do not lock good. They, they, they don't look good. They're outdated and they, they, they need they, it needs a new look. The you heritage, can't even fit a half helmet in there. No, no, you can't. Um, it's, yeah, it, it definitely needs to be outdated. So if you, if you take a Heritage, which mm -hmm. is considered a soft tail, mm -hmm. right? Put new bags on it. And like a casual, uh, uh, big fairing. Like uh, yeah, yeah like a, a, a redesigned fairing. And then you have two 
similar models on the soft tail mm -hmm. as two sports uh, as two uh, sport touring models. Yes. Harley Davidson, are you listening to this? Yeah. Huh? I mean, it could, it could be a, it could be a thing. It could be a thing. Yeah. Because I'm I'm telling you, if if you're gonna if you're gonna like heritage ST. Yeah. Sport touring. But if people are leaning towards more more now towards the lowrider ST. Looking at that option for the all the mm -hmm. reasons we just well, I think the about. heritage sales are kind of. I think that's where actually the ST took away from. That as well. Took away I don't. From I, don't the I don't think so. You don't think it took away from the heritage? No, no, sales? Be, no. Because the the low rider is just a total different bike. It, it's kind of it's made for a different person. But I see more heritages on the floor now, where before that was the one. If you don't want to buy a big bike like this or a road king, you bought a heritage. Yeah. I don't know. Two bikes. On the soft tail lineup, sport touring, that could be a huge thing. Mm -hmm. It could be awesome. And you're offering the the customers a cheaper bike compared to a baggers. I don't know if they would do that because at the same time, it's like, yes, if people are buying the low rider ST compared to uh, the bigger bikes because of price or this mm -hmm. or that, um, if they start coming out with another model or two, whatever it is, then I don't think they... It, it might kind of eat away at the, the big sales. I was asking about that before. Yeah. It might eat away at the sales of the bigger bikes, which is that's that's the bread and butter right there. That is the bread and butter. You know? I really don't want to hurt that. They make when we're talking about making money off bikes, they make all their money from the bigger bikes. They yes. don't. They don't. They they make you know they make money off the small bikes, but you know it's not like the amount of money they make off this. Yeah, but they, the amount they, of money they, they make to, off they need to update these bikes though. Like they just did with the CVO, yeah. they need to, that needs to trickle down. Sport touring, where do you see it? I think that's the wave, the future. Like I said, people as they get older and they can't handle the bikes as much, the way, and then people going from sportsters into, yeah. that's like the middle ground. You know, like I said, guys like you and BK Low and stuff like that, your smaller frame guys, whatever, that, you can tour all over the country with that shit. Yeah. And me doing my 250, 300 mile days, I can do the same thing. Yeah. I don't need the bigger, heavier bike or whatever. That's gonna get me tired or whatever from, from lugging it around or whatever. Mm, well. Sport touring models, what do you guys think? Do you prefer the Lowrider ST or do you prefer the Street Glider Road Glide? And what do you guys think about the whole idea of the Heritage becoming sport touring model or Road King, whatever it is? Bigger bags, bigger fan. Everything. Um, drop your thoughts down below. If you are a newer rider, what do you think about this? If you are a current rider, you're on a Sportster. We're on a soft tail. What do you think about this? Are you making your way all the way up to a bagger, or do you see yourself just staying at the low rider ST model and being happy with that? And if you are on a bagger, do you see yourself going back down the other way? That's Drop your thoughts in your comments down below. Let me know what you guys think about everything. Producer Jerry <laughs> and me are out. Thanks for watching. Peace. Peace.